Hey guys, it's your girl Glam here and first things first, I'm going to go ahead and moisturize my face with this Clean and Clear Morning Glow. And I really, really actually like this moisturizer for my face. It does really, really good and it goes along great with my uh, foaming facial wash by Clean and Clear as well. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and get my brows in order. And the brows that I'm going to, the brow pencil I'm going to be using, however, uh, is going to be the Jordana Fabu Brow. And you guys can just swatch while I do my brows. drawn on my brows I'm gonna go ahead and just shape them up using my studio finish concealer and um, this stiff angle brush and that's an NW45 in case you're wondering and I'm only gonna put that at the bottom of my brow So now that I've done the bottom of my brow, I'm going to do the top using my um, concealer palette from BH Cosmetics. And I'm going to use this one here. And I'm going to do that at the top. The reason why I do a darker concealer at the top is because I don't want a highlight up there. Um, I do sometimes, but for this particular day, I don't. So yeah, I'm just going to put that around the top. I have done that now it's all about blending 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 girl okay you have to blend your brows okay you can't walk around with concealer under your brows it's not cute doesn't look right so blend the mess out of those brows now going on to the eye look which is going to be a very very soft neutral eye a uh, brown smoky kind of I'm just going to prime my eye first with my Urban Decay Primer Potion which I love and if you don't know where to get it you can get it from Sephora and I got mine for $7 All primed and now it's time to start the eye look using a blending brush and this one is by LA Colors and using my BH Cosmetics 120 Pro Second Edition palette. I'm going to use this brown that you guys see all the time that is my favorite transitional color. It's kind of similar to um, Brown Skirt by MAC. Um, I recently looked into that and it's kind of similar, uh, maybe a little lighter but it's pretty similar and I'm just going to use that as a transition color for this look. So I'm going to apply that all through the crease and above the crease almost up into the brow bone 
And then taking this e.l.f. contour brush, which I love, it definitely does what it says. I'm going to take my palette again, taking the darkest brown, and I'm going to apply that in my crease. Okay? And um, the reason why I like it because it, it contours your eye. Like, I've just recently learned, as you guys know, I'm not a makeup artist, but I recently learned that the crease color is pretty much just a contour for your eye. So I'm contouring my eye with this brown, and I'm also going to use that brown to contour the rest of my face later. But, yeah, so I'm just contouring my eye. I'm doing it really, really lightly. Um, with natural eyes, you always want to apply as little as possible and then build up to your desired look, okay? Now taking another LA Colors brush, this is a large eyeshadow shader brush, and I'm going to use this brush along with um, this palette that I got from Walgreens. It was 99 cents, and um, I forgot the name of it, but yeah. <laughs> I want to just take this really light color here. It's kind of like a vanilla, um, or a manila kind of color rather, and I'm just going to apply that in the brow bone area, and um, I'm just gonna put it at the highest point and then blend it out. Going back into my palette, I'm going to take these two colors here. One is a very yellowish brown color and one is a very light brown. I'm going to mix those two colors together using an e.l.f. eyeshadow brush. And this is one of the short ones and that's so I can pack on the color. And I'm just going to pack that color all over my lid going almost to the end but not completely but filling in that entire lid and um whenever you do natural eyes ladies um all you really need to understand is that anyone can do a natural blank eye you just have to find the colors that work for your skin tone so if you are of a darker skin tone maybe mixing those two out of a colors won't work really great for you to make that blank eye so you may need to choose colors that may be a shade or two darker and it's the same thing if you are more fair skinned you may want to choose colors that are lighter close to the whiter uh tones when it comes to eyeshadow okay and then of course just like everything we do blend 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 i can't stress it enough blending will make all the difference if you're in your eyeshadows if you don't even know how to put anything but two colors on i guarantee you if you know how to blend they will come out perfect, okay? So blend out the eyes. Okay, so now I went ahead and I've already applied my liner and lashes. The liner I used was the e.l.f. liquid liner and I used the number 7 eBay lashes. So now I'm going to go ahead and do my waterline and on my waterline basically I'm using this Jessica Cole uh, black eyeliner pencil that I got from my local beauty supply and I'm going to apply it to my lower lash line. So now that we've done that, it's time to move on to the rest of the face. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put on a primer. The primer I'm going to be using is the Hard Candy Sheer Envy Skin Illuminating Primer. And I really like this primer actually because you can wear it with or without makeup. So that's one of the reasons why I got it. So I'm just going to apply it to the areas that's needed, the place where I have the larger pores. Uh, which is usually in my cheeks, in my nose, and around my mouth, which is kind of weird, but yeah. <laughs> and then, once I apply the primer, it's time to go ahead and do the foundation. And pay attention to the foundation part, you guys, because this is how I make my summer foundation, which is basically like a uh, DIY tinted moisturizer using the Clean and Clear Moisturizer and my CoverGirl Queen uh, foundation. And the key is to get more foundation than product because you really want it to be uh, very lightweight, very sheer, as if you're not even wearing any foundation. 
So I'm going to use a foundation brush to go ahead and mix it on the back of my hand. So just watch how I mix it and then um, you're going to see that it's going to be a very sheer outcome. Very, very sheer. You're going to be able to see through it and that's exactly what you want from your tinted moisturizer. So now that I've applied that all of my face, it's now time to move on to the lips. I did my contouring and everything off camera, but I'm going to be using this NYX um, lip pencil in Prune, which is my favorite lip pencil for mostly all of my lipsticks. And I'm just going to line the outer part of my lips. Okay. And um, what this is going to do is because I'm going to do a nude lip. And what this does is it pretty much makes the nude look work for my skin tone. Um, I've made a video about lipsticks before and I kind of told you guys already how to use lip liners to change the colors of your lipsticks. So if you guys would like, I'll put that video down below so you guys can check that out. Alright. So now that I've did that, I kind of filled it in um, around the edges and I'm going to fill in the center of my lip with uh, this e.l.f. lip liner and it's in the color natural which is like a very nude pink. And I'm just going to fill in the inside and what that's going to do is it's going to give like a kind of like a gradient effect to the lipstick and the lipstick I'm going to be using is 902C by Wet n Wild and it's like a matte um, nude lipstick. I think it's called... Um, Never mind, actually, I don't know what it's called. <laughs> but yeah, so you see how it gives like a gradient effect into that prune, into the lip color. And it just makes it work for my skin tone. And over that, I'm just going to apply a lip gloss. And the gloss I'm going to be using is Wet n Wild's Mega, um, what is it called? It's the, uh, the Mega Slicks Lip Gloss. And it's in uh, Rose Gold. That's the name of the color. And I'm just going to apply that right on top. And I forgot mascara. How could I forget mascara, right? Okay, so I'm just gonna apply the mascara to my lower lash line, and that is the Maybelline Falsies in Black Drama, which is my favorite mascara right now. So just applying that to the lower lash line. And once I've gone ahead and I've applied that to the lower lash line, that is pretty much it, you guys. This is just a get ready with me, natural, my go-to makeup look. And yeah, hope you enjoy. See you in the next one.